are you from? It's a question that we get asked all the time. Usually there's a pretty straightforward answer. In my case, it's, it's not quite so simple. See, I was born in Rhode Island in 2001, where I spent the first 10 years of my life. In 2011, my family decided to sell our house and move into an RV, where we spent the next 7 to 8 years of both my life and the lives of my siblings traveling the country, being from lots of different places. Now my family lives in Texas, where they've been for the last couple of years. In 2021, I moved away to go to school in Colorado, where we are now. In my case, there's at least four flags that I can definitively link some kind of identity to, some place I can kind of consider a home. Rhode Island, of course, where I was born and raised. Texas, where my family lives now, and, and where a lot of my friends are. A lot of the formative years of my life were spent. Wyoming where lots of other parts of my life were had, including planting the seeds for future career opportunities, and of course Colorado, where I am now a student. These flags are all a part of the makeup of my identity, where I'm from. I decided to speak with my mom, my dad, and my sister, just to get a sense of what their answers to these questions were. So I guess I wanted to ask, you know, where are you from, and, and what does that mean to you? Um, well, I'm from East Providence, Rhode Island, in the section called Riverside. Um, well, obviously it's changed over the years. Originally, because in my experience, it's because they'd noticed a twang in my voice, and they're just wondering, oh, you're not like from Texas or Wyoming. So I usually just say, I'm from New England, because a lot of times they don't even know where Rhode Island is, so. But that's what I say. I say that I'm from Rhode Island. Just a close-knit community where everyone kind of saw each other at church or the Christmas bazaar that our school would have. And when we were growing up, we rode our bikes all over and walked all over. This was well before cell phones, so if you had to call home, you had to have some coins on you to find a pay phone. And we'd go to the local Aegean pizza and get pizza and sodas and play video games or town pizza in Riverside, and same thing. We'd skate on Willet Pond when it froze. We'd go sledding at the Silver Spring Golf Course down the road and go across the street to the Chinese food place to get hot chocolate. We lived nearby Seekonk, Mass, which had two drive-in theaters, so we used to go do that. We had two roller rinks in the area, so we'd go do that. When, when that question's asked, you know, where are you from? Um, you know, it's it's. I've I've found that it's an interesting one because it's not just geographically, right? Where, where literally you were born, where you spent your time. It's also you know everything you just said. It's it's the community. It's it's what it means to you to be a part of that place and and to be from somewhere in a lot of ways is to have stories from that place. I have my own experiences and memory through Rhode Island, but a lot of it too is, is built from the context of what, what I, you know, I see through pictures or read about or go back, you know, when I, when I visit again as an adult. So, you know, when I'm asked, where are you from? I think, I think to me being from a place and I've gotten different answers, you know, about this, like to be from somewhere, is it just geographic or is it, I am from this place because I have a connection to it. I have all these, you know, stories that I can I can attest to. I, I feel a part of it. You know, in that case, you know, geographically I'm from Rhode Island, but in in the latter case, I don't know that I have such a strong conviction or connection that has shaped me that is solely in a New England experience that I can justify saying I'm from Rhode Island. Where would you say home is? Home is these profits. Whenever I say home, I I I refer, that's referring to East Providence. I don't feel like this is a home. I don't feel like I don't belong here, but it's not my heart and soul. 
So my home will always be East Providence. I'm a New Englander from East Providence, Rhode Island, and I'll never be a Texan. Currently, I'm from Texas, but, you know, the term born and raised, I mean, that's your formative years. Um, so a lot of core memories stem from living in Rhode Island. When we left Rhode Island, you know, around 2011, I was five or six. No, I would have been, I would have been about nine or ten. Brendan and Chloe would have been five or six. So my memory of Rhode Island, I do have one, and I do have a sense of identity there in, in a way. Um, but it's largely of the, t the brief times I went to public school. It's largely of the house we grew up in, mostly family, seeing family far more regularly. Brendan and Chloe, I feel, don't, don't have that connection in that same way. Do you think they would say they're from Rhode Island, or would they say they're from Texas? I think they'd say they're from Rhode Island. I think they'll always have that piece of them. Where are you from? It's an easy question. It's not something that someone should have to put this much thought into, usually. But it's one I've been trying to answer for a while, I think. And I don't know that even after all this I still have a f solid answer. I think it makes sense to say that I'm from Rhode Island. I was born there. I spent over a decade there. A lot of my friends and family are from there. It's, it's what my family says in terms of where they're from, for the most part. But it also makes sense to say I'm from Texas. I mean, my siblings do. It's where I had my first job. It's where I made the most connections. Really, it's where I spent a good chunk of my time, but I don't feel like I'm from Texas either. That feels, that feels phony. I don't want to say I'm from Wyoming, even though, yes, I have a lot of experience there, and a lot of time was spent, and I feel a connection there. It's certainly a home. I don't know that I'm, that I'm from it. it doesn't, that doesn't feel right either. Neither does Colorado. As much as I like it here, it's, it's maybe a home, but it's not a place I'm from. Maybe I'm from all of it. Maybe I'm from everywhere. Of course, there's also the question that's been bugging me kind of throughout the whole process here is, does it even matter? Who cares if I don't really know how to answer that question? You know, no one is expecting me to give a dissertation whenever they're introducing themselves. If they say, where are you from? They're not looking for me to do all this. They're looking for something like Rhode Island, Texas, a combination of both, or nothing at all. It's just a thing people say. But it matters to me, I think. It matters to me in a weird way, having spent so much time now seeing the country. I feel like geography is, is a pretty important part of your identity. provides a cultural background from where you grew up. It gives you certain character quirks that you kind of can't explain being from anywhere else. It's, it's important. Don't ask me to explain why mathematically. I couldn't, but I feel like it's worth exploring. <laughs>